lakini kuna wakora wengine wachache ambao sasa wanakuja na wanaharibu kila kitu for example we are talking about rice production in this region here the farmers will fully embark on producing rice but there are a few cartels who will be trying to disorganize the farmers through cheap imports in fact as a country we must not encourage those imports more so on activities and products that can be readily produced by our people we are crying about the high state of unemployment the high rate of unemployment in our farms we can employ hundreds of thousands and life will be good we will easily achieve our goal of socio economic empowerment unfortunately the moment the farmers will embark fully on producing their rice or whatever crop from the field then the importers will also start coming in to compete the farmers and everything will be frustrated so i'm making a very very humble appeal to our policy implementers to stop frustrating the farmers look at what we have under the inputs the farmers have no control on the price of fertilizer for example but there are people who will determine the price of that fertilizer and i'm aware that hata hiyo kwa fertilizer iko na cartel wanaleta mbolea kwa bei ile juu saidi sasa ile faida ambayo mkulima anaweza pata inakuwa faida kidogo kabisa na baada ya muda mfupi mkulima anaamua tu ah hii hii kitu haina faida wacha wacha nipumzike na akiamua kupumzika maisha sasa inakuwa mbaya saidi so the national government whose mandate is to draft policies must also ensure that they are at the forefront and they get fully committed to the implementation of those policies 